To make a video. Um, let me see here. Let's see. Wait. No, that's no good. Uh... Oh no! I don't have any video games. If only I could buy some with this money. Never fear, young sir, for there is a place you can go to buy video games that nobody else wanted for pennies on the dollar. The Thrift Store! Goodwill Games, part one of... Who knows if I'll make another one, actually. Up first is the Magic School Bus. Now, I've picked up a few different Magic School Bus games at thrift stores, but the one I'm going to talk about today is Explores the Human Body, because it's the one I remember most as a kid, and... It also just kind of sounds the weirdest. The box art's also kind of funny. You got the little Cheeto guys. Then there's the hamburger dude. And Miss Frizzle kind of looks like a dude. Uh, why is she staring at me? Why won't she stop staring at me? Oh, please. Please stop staring at me, please. My body is made up of trillions of cells. I think Arnold over here is a little scared of her too, actually. Or maybe he's just afraid of this terrifying thing that's in the game for some reason. What do you think of my volcano project? It's great. But yeah, 50 cents to Frizz has an adventure plan. Whoa, 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 50 cents? I don't know who you think I am, Tim, but I don't have that kind of money to throw around. And besides, everyone knows that the Frizz has an adventure planned. She always does. Idiot! We're going to do something with Miss Frizzle that you could never do in real life! Wait, since when does Liz talk? She's a freaking iguana, I guess? I gotta look that up. Oh, and thanks for breaking the fourth wall, by the way. I can already tell this is gonna be like the Putt-Butt games. You know, click on stuff and weird random things happen. Like this rocket! Or Wanda! Walking in a circle for literally no reason. And bees! Why are there always bees? And before you know it, you have to create your character that's apparently supposed to be the bus driver? And if anyone's qualified to drive a bus through a young child's vital bodily organs, it's this guy. Then in a fashion almost similar to the actual episode, but with really weird and unfitting music, you fly straight into Arnold's mouth. And what are you supposed to do once you're inside, Arnold? I don't know. I really don't know. I guess you're supposed to click on fairies and pies that are floating around for some reason. You can also look back into the bus and talk to Miss Frizzle and the kids where they deliver such quality zingers as... How do the teeth work? Now tell the truth. We have different types of teeth to do different... Teeth. Oh, no, no, no. Don't you go teaching people stuff. No one watching my videos is learning anything. Thank you very much. Other than clicking on random things and learning random things, pretty much the only thing you can do is spy on Arnold and make him do stuff. You can make him run, sneeze incredibly violently, and even fall down. How you do those things, I have no idea. But you can do them. You can also, creepily enough, watch Arnold's memories. And Arnold apparently has memories of being a girl on a bike and a little black boy at a lonely looking birthday party. So that's pretty much all that I found interesting about Magic School Bus Explores the Human Body, unfortunately. I think even as a kid who really liked the TV show, I don't think it would have held my interest that much. But up next is also something that if you were a kid in the 90s, you probably remember, I Spy. More specifically, I Spy Spooky Mansion. Deluxe for the PC. I Spy was a series of books that had pictures with many objects on each page. The goal was to find the objects listed in a rhyme on the bottom. All the pictures were incredibly well put together and had composition that even today still impresses me. Oh, and this book you're looking at right here? I also got this at a thrift store. Just figured that was worth noting. Let's take a look at the back of the case here. System requirements. 
Pentium 2 266 megahertz or faster processor? Oh no! Right off the bat, this game, just like the books, has a great visual appeal. And I even like how it puts your name on the top of the gate, as well as in a lot of other places throughout the game. Enter if you dare. <laughs> Too bad you can't get out the way you came in. <laughs> <laughs> This game obviously plays a lot like the books. I thought it would be easy, but it's actually kind of tricky. A spoonful of bugs. Well, sometimes. Like this one. I gotta find three horns. I found this one, and everyone in the comments are probably gonna call me an idiot, but I can't for the life of me find the other two anywhere. Oh, horns. Game, you tricky. If it gets too hard, you can always resort to the click everywhere on the screen until you find something strategy. I find that that works pretty well. As I forgot to mention earlier, this little skeleton guy has locked you into the house and that's why you're doing puzzles. Just, just don't ask. Once you do them all, he lets you out and then says, If you dare to come back in, a new adventure will begin. Uh, no thanks, dude. Last time you locked me into the house and you wouldn't let me out. So I don't think I'm gonna fall for that one again. I'm not that stupid. But hey, I mean, it could be pretty fun, I guess. Why not? Let's go! So I spy Spooky Mansion Deluxe. Overall, I'd say it's a pretty good find. It plays a lot like the books, and unlike the Magic School Bus game, I actually knew what I was supposed to do. So that's a plus. A blast in what will probably be least, I found Barbie Explorer for the PlayStation 1. The game starts off with Barbie unexplainedly diving into a cave. And whoever dug up this diamond mine shaft really didn't do a very good job because they kinda left a whole lot of diamonds. Maybe the people who made it were like, whoa, that's a lot of diamonds. We can take them home and be filthy, stinking rich, but you know what would be even better? Let's leave them here for someone else to find. Won't that just make their day? Because the thrill of giving is always greater than the thrill of receiving. Except when it's diamonds, you should probably take those. Barbie grabs some shiny thing during her escape from... nothing? It looks like? But then it fades to Barbie talking to some old professor guy who makes it sound as if it was him that got the diamond. So I guess none of that actually happened? I'm honestly not sure. I'm lost already and this is a Barbie game. Maybe I'm just thinking too hard about this. The music right here is way too loud. Um, sir, could you speak up, please? I can't hear you very well. His voice then just sort of fades into nothing, and Barbie, clearly not paying any attention at all, says, As of today, I'm reporting as Barbie, world-class explorer. And by world-class explorer, what she actually means is, I'm gonna run in a straight line for an unnecessarily long amount of time and pick up meaningless items all while controlling like a sack of fecal matter. Because that's all this game is. I was hoping I'd be able to talk quite a bit about this one, but honestly, that's all there is to it. What I am showing you right now, that's it. Well, that and Barbie getting trampled by an elephant. Also, she can do this. So that's cool. Hey everybody, thanks for watching my video. As always, if you want to watch some more videos, here's some more videos. There's a new season of Hardcore going on on PBG Gameplay. It's on Diablo 2. If you want to watch it, go ahead and click right here. I mean, I'm not begging or anything. I'm just saying. You don't have to be that much of a cheapskate all the time. <laughs> Facebook, Twitter, in the description. Bye-bye. Hey everybody, just a little reminder that November is Zelda month. I'm gonna have at least four videos on this channel for Zelda month in November, and actually in November, not into December and beyond like last year, because I was moving. Probably do a short video about Wind Waker HD, as well as a new G Files, maybe some other stuff. Obviously some other stuff, because I just said there was gonna be four videos. And I'm also going to be doing a new collection series on my gameplay channel, PBG Gameplay, of Wind Waker HD. Uh, so look forward to all that, and I guess I'll see you guys in November, huh? <laughs> hey, so until then, you guys better play some Zelda to, to get ready to watch videos that doesn't... I guess you guys don't really have to do anything, huh? I'm gonna go do some videos now. Bye-bye! Again. <laughs>